On this week's boiler tip and the next couple boiler tips, we're going to take a look at the steam system. And today we're going to do an introduction to drip legs. Um, drip legs are the first line of defense in our steam system once the steam leaves the boiler to prevent condensate from accumulating in the system. We don't have perfect insulation, so anytime steam is traveling in a pipe, it's going to condense, form water droplets. And if we don't get rid of those, they're gonna be carried all the way to our process, whatever that process is, and it can cause contamination, it can slow down processes, it can cause quality control problems. So we're gonna look at what a drip leg is and where they're located in the system today. Right here, we've got a steam main dropping down to our trap demonstration skid. And this is a perfect location for a drip leg because we don't want to pull a lot of condensate into this skid. It's gonna, it's the, pro, the traps aren't going to uh, work normally, I guess you would say. So what we have here is our valve to control the steam going in. And we have a section of pipe that goes down and that is the drip leg. Um, for a drip leg to be effective, we have to have a trap attached to it because the trap removes the condensate that's collected. So the drip leg collects the condensate and the trap allows it to escape. In this instance, our drip leg is actually larger than the pipe size coming in. And that's not a bad thing because what we need to get the condensate out of the steam is a drop in flow. We can't get the condensate out very easily if it's traveling quickly. So by the steam coming in here, um, the condensate can fall downward, the steam can go upward, and we've got a nice little universal inverted bucket down there to discharge that condensate. Let's look at a couple other places where we've got drip legs on this system. In our steam distribution system, we're gonna have a drip leg um, anywhere that condensate could accumulate. And basically on a header, we're gonna have a drip leg on each end because the steam could travel in either direction and we need to collect it at both ends of that main header. Without those drip legs, that header will flood with condensate until we start sucking condensate out uh, in the pipe going to our points of use. We also wanna have a trap um, a drip leg and trap at any point where we're bringing off steam into a control valve or pressure reducing valve so that we don't get condensate going into that valve. We've got a drip leg here because we've got a drop for our process, another control valve, and we want to keep those lines clear of condensate. And we definitely want to have a drip leg anywhere we elevate our steam line. That you can see the steam line just hops up a few inches before going over but that's definitely going to accumulate condensate there. So anytime we find condensate a problem in our system, there's probably a drip leg that's, that should be there um, to help keep that clear and make our steam mission successful. 